Once your dog is able to stay as you walk all the way across the room, whether your back is turned or we are facing them either way, then you're ready to start adding time back into the equation. So you're going to do that in variable increments. So you're going to start with backing away a few feet, waiting a few seconds, and then rewarding them, and then slowly adding to both time and distance. Um, so what that's going to look like, come here, bye. sit, stay, I'm going to take one step back, I'm just going to wait a little longer than I did before, step back to move, good boy, free. Now this time I'm going to step a little further away, wait a little longer, sit, uh-uh, come here, bye, free. Sit, stay, take two steps back, I'm going to wait a little bit at the end here, turn to him, good boy, free, good boy. Now you don't want to work up in a completely scheduled way like that where you're taking two steps back, waiting two seconds, taking three steps back, waiting three seconds. You really want to mix it up so your dog doesn't get to the point where they're expecting you to take longer and longer each time you walk farther and farther away from them. So it's good to sometimes, come here, sit, stay, take those, you know, those longer steps back, but then immediately return to your dog, free, free, sorry, good boy. All right, sit, stay, and then maybe the next time I'm going to take longer steps back, and then I'm going to wait a little longer, and then go back. Good boy, free. Just work at your dog's pace. Um, if you don't think your dog can go for very long at a very long distance, then work at shorter distances for long periods first, and then work your way back up. Good boy! Good boy!